Welcome to the technical session on seismic refraction processing using the Ciara software. This would be the outline of this technical session. First of all, we will discuss the workflow of the software. Then we would look at the field geometry. Then we would also see what are the input data sets. And then a brief introduction of Ciara software, its project database, the auto-pick module where first arrivals are being picked using neural networks as well as interactive picking, then the refract module where travel time inversion is performed to compute velocities and thicknesses of the weathered and sub-weathered layers, and finally gridding and statics computation. So this is the workflow of Ciara software. This software basically has three modules. The first one is auto-pick, where the seismic refraction or uphold data is input, and the first arrivals are picked. Then these first arrivals are input into the second module, which is refract, where travel time inversion is performed and the velocities and thicknesses of the weathered and sub-weathered layers are computed. And finally, we have the stat calc module, which interpolates the velocities and thicknesses and generates a near surface model and finally computes the statics. The software can also export the velocities and thicknesses to surfer or contouring. Similarly, the refract module can also export the graphics for the TX graphs to design CAD for plotting. So this is a typical geophones layout geometry for refraction forward reverse shooting. As we can see here at the top, we have the offsets, whereas at the bottom we can see the interval between two consecutive geophones. As we can see, at the start, the geophone intervals are 5 meters, then 10 meters, 15 meters, and finally at the middle we have 20 meters. And then this is a symmetric geometry. So again, we have 15 meters, 10 meters and 5 meters. This has been done because we want to pick first arrivals for the direct waves. And as we know, the direct waves can only be recorded before the crossover distance. So usually the crossover distance would be around 20 meters. So if we set up the picket interval to 10, so it means we would only be able to record the first arrival from the direct waves on only the first geophone. Thus in order to have more than one geophone to record the arrival times from direct waves, we have kept the geophone intervals smaller at the start. And gradually we are increasing the geophone intervals because we also want to increase the depth of investigation. And then on the reverse side again the geophone interval is decreasing because when we would be shooting from the reverse side again we would be needing smaller geophone intervals to have more than one geophones to record the arrival times from direct waves. These are the input data sets required for this workflow. The navigation data, the seismic refraction data in SEC2 formats, the geophones layout geometry as we had seen in the previous slide and the observer reports. So this is a typical observer's report. Here the second column has the line name, then the picket numbers and then the forward and reverse record numbers. As we can see our first line is 121 and we have forward reverse shooting done on picket 120 and let's suppose our file record numbers are starting from 10 so our forward record file would be 10 and our reverse record file would be 11. Next we have done the forward reverse shooting on picket number 154 and now our forward and reverse record files are 12 and 13 and so on in this way we will be having multiple forward reverse shooting pickets on this line and after that the next line starts and so on in this way we have the refraction survey carried out on multiple lines in the survey. The Ciara software is part of the integrated geosystems where most of the user data is kept under a structured data directory. So as you can see we have a number of folders. So for the Ciara software we would be storing the navigation data in the DBO folder, the project database in the proj folder, the output reports would be generated in the report folder, the seismic data in SEC2 format will be in the size folder and the output files containing the arrival times as well as the travel time inversion solutions would be created in the SRA folder. 